Hi everyone, welcome. It's Lavender Sky Panther with you uh, today with a quick little card reading on March 8th, 2024. It's actually a, a nice, uh, encouraging little message. And the upper card is like the overall energies, the lower supporting energies, and then we'll see what that means when we get to the middle. So let's start off with the top. We have Look Forward or number five. Uh, we're looking forward to the light, to the sunshine. Uh, looking back will not serve us here. In fact, it, it really won't help at all. So we're looking forward. Supporting energies to that are see the light, number 33 or number 6. So by holding the vision of seeing the light and looking to the light, we'll have a nice favorable outcome and staying optimistic as we go forward. Look, the tree is nice and green. It's not dead and, you know, dying there. Things are looking good, you know, ahead. We might have to... Um, Go through some things or make that walk like a like a walk of faith and, and maybe kind of almost like a leap of faith um you know we don't know what might be exactly ahead and around those corners but if we just know to stick to the path uh, even if it's kind of a winding path just hold true and stay solid in our footing it will lead to something good and positive now as a part of all of that we might have to blow off some steam number 60 or number six just to make sure we can walk sure and true we need to blow off any of um anything that might hinder us or agitate us and hopefully blow it off in a fun way you know these people are celebrating and, and, and found something fun and playful to do even this rabbit hopping out of the way uh, seems to have spring in its step everything's pretty lively so yeah find something that um is a good way to blow off some steam you know whether you are you know, um, if you're driving a car, blast that radio loud and sing along if that's something you love to do. Or, you know, j jump in some water, you know, swim, whatever it is, you know, that, that gets you into this, this spirit of this card. You know, explore that. Then we also might want to drop some things and lighten the load. And simply drop it. Uh, we've had this card recently. It's number three. Yeah, just drop anything that feels heavy and weighing on you. Uh, there is a technique where you can say cast the burden. Just imagine uh, any anything that's weighing you down. Imagine seeing like a, a doorway and a little white basket. It can be a wicker basket or it can be a, a brown basket. It can be metal, whatever. Just imagine a nice little basket there at the stoop of a door, at a little doorstep, and just throw any of your worries into that basket. And then just imagine the divine, Jesus, God, whatever works for you, just whisks that basket away and you know it's called casting the burden it just takes all of your worries away just really imagine that you know what i'm giving it up and i'm dropping it in there and you know god take it away i don't want to deal with it and that already will start to you know lighten your load then we have change the scenery number three i'm taking that quite literally again we've got the nice light you know behind this person if they turn this way the light is ahead just like up this card the light is ahead so in this case, the person's busy changing the scenery, but it looks like in a very fun, playful, lighthearted way, much like this blowing off some steam card. And so in this case, literally go change your scenery. If you're in a house pent up, go get outside, breathe some fresh air. If you already are going day to day, but have a very routine kind of job back and forth, get off the beaten path, maybe take a scenic route. You know, if you go through an area that's all industrial, Go take an area where, um, go take a roadway where there's a lot of trees, you know, if you can. Um, physically travel somewhere if you're able. Just really change things up because that helps, you know, switch up the dynamic uh, to bring in good things, you know, it, and it, it also breaks up any stagnancy. And so this person looks like, you know, they're off on this, this wandering path looking forward. So changing the scenery can help with that, uh, help bring in some assist those energies of looking forward and not behind okay well i think that's it for now uh definitely see the light in all things and especially in people <laughs> these days uh with these shifting energies overall on the planet right now uh, a lot i think i'd like to say the best is coming out of people but there's a lot of the worst coming out of people too and uh time of conflict and separation it seems so it's just a call for us to really kind of see the light you know not taking any garbage but at the same time tapping into our inner depths of our compassion and where we can see the light do it and remember that is our essence um again not not taking any garbage but where there's an opportunity to zoom out kind of look at the overall situation 
get out of looking at personalities and, and exact people and situations, kind of zoom out and abstract it out and say, okay, yeah, these people are probably feeling these kind of energies and I can step back too and not take it so personally and, you know, kind of look at it zoomed out in the overall picture and not be like on the chessboard battling it out with people, so to speak. And, you know, just see if that can help, you know, remove yourself from looking at personalities and try to see the situation through God's eyes. Um, okay, I know this reading probably wandered a bit. Hopefully there's, <clears throat> excuse me, something in there that was helpful for you. And I wish you all tremendous peace and love. Lemon Sky Panther. Bye.